Now, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Nyesom Wiki, has reconciled with the South South Chairman of the All Progressives uh, Congress, uh, Victor Giadom. The meeting took place at Giadom's home in Gokana, local government area of River State, on January 6. Uh, though Wiki described his visit as personal and non political, it has fueled speculation about his potential defection to the APC and his possible role in supporting President Bola Tinobu. And to give more insight into the reverse political crisis and other issues I have with me, Obi Indukwe, who is a publisher of the Potakot based outfit, the BIM newspaper, and president of the Citizens Quest for Truth Initiative and Advocacy Group. Thank you so much, Obi, for joining us. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so talk to us about this issue now. And uh, of course, uh, the visit by Nyesom Wiki to uh, Victor Giadom, what does it really mean, actually, in terms of the politics of River State generally? Uh, Giadom used to be an ally, or he's still an ally of Ruth Miyamichi, former governor. And now, uh, Nyesom Wiki is going to court him. Uh, does it look like uh, Nyesom Wiki is set to actually defect to the APC? Well, um, in politics, um, you expect anything. That's the truth of the matter. Um, the speculations have been right that uh, the minister is going to defect to the APC. And of course, if that's going to happen, definitely he has to go through the proper channel, which is to meet with the leadership of the party in the state. But um, he has not come out to say he's defecting. But there, everybody believes that the moves he's been making um, lately shows that he intends to move. But with the situation in the, <laughs> in the state right now, um, it would be funny for you to um, um, bring in a governor and leave him in a party and go to another party where probably it's only your, your, your interest as in you are minister and uh, you're working with the president. I'm not sure he was given the conditions that he needs to move to APC. Otherwise, he probably would have done that before he got that appointment. But he maybe has also looked at the situation of PDP and then thinks that the best thing to do is just to move. But like he said, Victor Giadom is his friend. They never stopped talking, even while Victor was, I mean, I mean, they were all on uh, different paths, but <laughs> they, they never stopped talking. Yeah. But um, Victor was fighting for power for his own party while um, he too was fighting for power. So what it means is actually that they are reconciling whatever uh, differences, extreme friends coming, um, together. So we are waiting to see what that portends in the nearest um, future. We hope that um, it will not just be one of those things drama by politicians because we've seen enough drama. Yeah. You know? if, if you take a look at the delegation, you will see that uh, uh, Dan Obi, who happens to be the PDP National Vice Chairman for South South, yeah. was in that delegation going to visit the APC National Vice Chairman for South South. Yeah. And Samuel Anyao, who has just been confirmed today as the uh, PDP National uh, Secretary by the court, you know, after having gone to contest for the Imo State Governorship election, was there to. And some of these people, and this looks like a very powerful delegation. Uh, with senators, former House of Rep members, former senators too, and all of that uh, in this delegation. And then, if you juxtapose it with Senator Magnus Abbey also saying that he's moving into the APC, what exactly, what was the handwriting that we are seeing here? Well, nobody wants to be left out, you know, where um, the party is. That's the truth of the matter. But again, that uh, the presence of Senator Ayanwu and uh, Dan Obi does not really suggest that they are living. Because if that should be the case, I yeah, don't... Yeah, but there is allies. No, there is allies. They've been friends. You know, in politics, there's no permanent enemy, no permanent friend. Uh, you know, what you have is permanent interest. And so if their interests, I mean, run at cross purposes, you won't see them. But as long as their interest is for a particular purpose, I mean, you will see them together. And then he, the man says he didn't go there because of political reasons. He went to see his friend. It was not a political visit per se. And you believe but, him? But, but of <laughs> and course, you believe him? when politicians are involved, <laughs> you should know that we know better than that. You know, so they are, they've been friends and then... Um, I think it's just a matter of trying to um, align and realign and then see what the future portends. And again, even he said, the, gov I mean, the minister said it, Victor had come to congratulate him, 
with some APC leaders yeah. when he was appointed. So it was like a return um, visit. visit. So Let's it's say. not really that um, he went out looking for um, the APC leadership. You okay. know, so, yeah. But how about the statement that was made there, that if some people think that they are in control of reverse politics, that when the time comes that they will know who is in control of the structure, uh, the political structure in reverse it, uh, do you think that was a dig at the governor? Yeah, you know that the minister has been away for some time and then people probably have not heard from him, his supporters too, his followers. So, of course, he has to tell them something to reassure them that they are still in charge. Every politician, does, every leader does that. Even when you're sinking, you will also say, I'm in charge, you know. So, and he also knows his strengths. The luck that Wiki has, I can tell you for free, is that he's a minister and a super minister at that very close to the president. They understand the power play, even the president himself understands. So if he says he's in charge, don't rule that out because we saw it happen even the days of Jonathan when Amechi was governor and Wike was a minister. You saw the way the party structure was taken away from Amechi in PDP and he eventually left. And that brings me to the issue of people, I mean, when the governor says I have the red pen, you know, yeah, nobody I mean, can, that's what I wanted to ask you. Nobody I mean, can take it. What does it portend for the governor uh, after he had previously said that he has that red pen and it, nobody will take it away one, from him? One, he has to reassure his people. He was in his hometown. And of course, he needed to tell them something that would make them feel good. And then, because a lot of persons were worried about his statement saying that he's um, for peace and that he's going to abide by the resolution. So it was like homecoming. Let me tell them something and reassure them that we're in charge. But again, if you look at it deeper than that, when you have the red pen, what it means is that you are the chief executive. You sign the contracts. You can do, you can give life or death to anybody. But we have been in River State. We have also seen... A situation where a sitting governor who had the red pen at some point couldn't function as governor. It happened during Amechi's second tenure when the fight was um, um, at, be, its peak. Yeah, at its peak. And uh, Amechi, the allocations were not coming. The oil wells that were for River State were taken and ceded to Bayasa. So that also affected what was uh, coming into the state. And that also affected him. He couldn't you know, finish most of the projects that, particularly the white elephant ones, the ones we refer to white elephant projects. He couldn't finish them because the allocations so had the dropped. And, and yes, that. and then of course he had to move to APC. And getting to APC means that he needed to show presence. And that means spending more money. So it's, uh, it's, that's why I said it's not about the person who has the red pen. It's about the person who can influence the use of the red pen. And of course, whether you like it or not, in a government where politics is not like the past government, people keep making mistakes. They think that Tinubu is Buhari. No, Tinubu is not. They are different people. Tinubu is a politician to the core. And then he understands even what federal might can do. So nobody should rule that out. And for a man he believes who did so much to help him win his election, he will do anything to support him, no do, matter do, what. Do you think Tenobu's eyes are really on River State? Does he really need River there is State no, so much? There is, no, there is no government that comes that will not look into River State. I saw it happen. Um, even Buhari, at some point, towards the tail end of his administration, he had to open his doors to Wike. He was, Wike was honored. He was given an award for the um, being, um, yeah, I remember you know, then. you know, and all that. <laughs> you know, it was like they were now trying to, you know, cut his friendship at some point because they knew the River State, like a quiet bomb, has a lot of money. They have a lot of money. And, and not just money. How about votes? And they have the votes. They also have the votes. If you can actually swing it, though, because the last election we saw a lot of um, uh, um, divisions. But at the end of the day. The man was able to take the votes. Well, <laughs> if you follow what one of the uh, leaders had recently said, yes. that, look, Labour Party actually won, but uh, some some things actually happened uh, while pleading with uh, their you supporters. Know what, you know the but mistake. That statement has caused a lot of, uh, you know, has ruffled a lot of, uh, you know, feathers here and yes, there. Yes, exactly. Yeah, but I, I just want to bring you back to the issues of the governor and Wiki. Do you think that Fubara? is actually someone who can withstand a battle with Wiki uh, because having the executive powers actually gives him an upper hand. That's right. But Wiki is trying to push the federal might, uh, like you have said. Uh, if we are going towards 2027 yeah. and Wiki is reconciling with Victor Giadom, what does that really mean in terms of the politics concerning that Victor Giadom is also an ally of Amechi? Well, we, you can never tell. Victor is an ally of Amechi and Victor is an individual 
who is occupying a position. That's not the entire APC leadership. Amechi still has some, you know, measure of, you know, followers who are with him. But uh, we've not heard from him lately because probably uh, his law school program and all that. But what I can say is for Wike to align, he needs to go even beyond Victor. There are still other persons he probably needs to, you know, reconcile and bring into the, uh, if he's going to do that battle, you know. And then for Fubara, he may not have what it takes. He may not have the experience as a politician. But don't rule out the fact that there are experienced politicians that are around him. He has the support of the former governor. Dr. Peter Odili. Yeah. Are you getting me? He has a few other persons, you know, who were also part of both Amechi's government and Wike's government. And these are the guys, these are the foot soldiers that do these things. So they are not going to fight on a, um, a, an unfamiliar terrain. It's going to be fighting a familiar um, foe, both of them on both sides. Yeah, Wike knows them that? as much as he knows them. But again, the ability to throw in the money and the strategy is what matters. And do you foresee an Amechi leaving uh, APC for Nyesom Wiki? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's left for both of them to really, you know, tell us what they want. Because I was discussing with some persons and I said, if Wiki is actually going to come to the APC, of course, natural, the way I, the, what I know of both of them, Amechi may not want to remain in APC. He may not want to remain in APC. He may just decide to stay away until probably the future comes up with something. Uh, I don't think that's Wiki's interest for now. I think Wiki's interest is to get the people who are active for now in the APC. If he can get them to stand, and he's actually doing that. A lot of that, a lot of them yeah, are... Yeah, and I can see that he's also spreading his tentacles, yeah, yes, not saying. just uh, in River State, but within the Niger Delta, I mean, and I'm, uh, playing I'm, a lot of poker games here and I'm there. I'm even thinking that he's lost a lot of uh, patronage, or, you know, in, uh, um, in the recent part, because he had quite a lot of strength, hold, hold on most of the states around. But somehow, I don't know what happened, and then probably he has realized it and he's still going back to... See how he can get these people to return to his fold. And for me, for every good politician, that's how that's how it should be. Yeah, I mean, you can't you can't be the only tree in the forest. You need people, and yeah, it's only because the at people. that meeting he was telling them that look, you Opobo people, we've given you this, we've given you that. Don't cause trouble for us in the Niger Delta because, of course, we need to execute it's the, not the it. budget. And uh, okay. but one thing actually that uh, some people are beginning to use to actually accuse like, Nyesom Wiki of recent. I had some conversation with some people. Is that Nyesom Wiki could have in one way or the other also tried to as as part of building his profile for 2027, maybe see if he could have saved someone like Better Edu. I mean, having been a national woman leader of the APC and then with his strength, uh, with all that's ongoing, that in one way or the other, he could have maybe pulled how the strings. Is you, there any way he could how, have done anything like that? How could Mike have done that? Is he a magician? We are talking about the laws, set laws. We are talking about the constitution. I mean, if there's any infraction, I mean, the law would take its course. What would Mike have done? Yeah, but now they are saying that the Minister of Interior, Olubumi Tunjiojo, uh, whose name is being mentioned, has not been pushed aside like Better Edu. It, his uh, name when is... one of his companies was uh, actually uh, said to have been given one of these contracts, and people say that it's because of his closeness to people like Femme Bajabia Miller and even the president and some even, associate. But you also know that even Better was very close to the president, the wife, Bajabia Miller, the rest of them, the National Assembly members, ministers. So it's not about, it's about who puts his signature first. And then when investigation is carried out, if uh, Ojo, I mean, is, is, is involved, of course he has to go. But here's a wiki who's trying to be the leader of the APC in... The South South, that's the aim we hear is heading to move into the party, capture not just the River State chapter, but of course the South South uh, APC. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> would, wouldn't this count against him? Well, it won't count against him because even better came from somewhere. Somebody uh, brought in a better from, I mean, day one. Better was um, a commissioner and was working closely with uh, Ayade. So even her appointment, her nomination as uh, woman, the national woman of APC was influenced by IAD. I remember the, the crisis they had then, the leadership yeah. of the APC in the South South. You know, so normally, naturally, what she would do is to go back to her, who supposed Godfather. That's the way it's done. And that's then if they are still together. Yes, and that's <laughs> uh, that's if she also has a relationship with Wike. Mm -hmm. And then if Wike was, but like I said, it's too open for Wike to get involved. Okay, just before I let you go, yeah. very quickly in 30 seconds, talk to me about the potential of Wiki actually being the political leader of the APC in the South South, if he ever moves into the APC. 
like I said, if Mike moves, the tendency that Amechi will leave is there. So if Mike moves, even right now as it is, as APC is uh, presently constituted, the people running the affairs of the party are people that either they have been with Mike or they went to visit Mike to congratulate him on his appointment. So we see them more as Mike. So if you look at it, Mike is like, he's even the one controlling the structure of the party. So it, it's left for Amechi and his people to either stay or move. And like I said, the Amechi I know is definitely not going to stay. All right. Interesting times ahead. Thank you so <laughs> yes, much. Yes, thank Obi you so much. Dukwe for helping us understand uh, the issues. Obi Ndukwe is a publisher of a newspaper in uh, Port Harcourt, the capital of River State, and she's also uh, an advocate, uh, a peace advocate, yeah. I must say. <laughs> well, let's just hope that there will be some peace in that part of the country. Too.